Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have the High Priestess, discernment, vision with partnership. So this could have been a hidden connection here. It doesn't have to be. But I'm picking up some secrecy. Also, uh, somebody sending messages energetically or just feeling the other's presence. Uh, there's some type of positive change that someone wants to implement in the 3D realm. Conversation. I want to call you and hear your voice with guilty. I feel pain from the damage that I've caused. Yeah. Someone's been carrying some guilt here, wanting to discuss it. Overall energy we have, Nine of Cups. This is about wish fulfillment as well as getting the desires of our hearts. I, I'm just feeling somebody wants to feel happy again. Okay, so I'm kind of picking up here. So let's see your energy. Six of Wands, the Devil, and the Four of Wands. So this is a really good week for you. You're overcoming some challenges. Some of you financially here where maybe you haven't seen a way out of it, uh, a situation or a problem, and it's almost like suddenly things become clear. Uh, you do get the funds or abundance for this, and you feel like there's something special that you want to plan. So if some of you are wanting to go on vacation or do something here, uh, you will have the opportunities. This is great. It's been on somebody's mind heavily. When it comes to love, I see that you're finally overcoming uh, some difficult energies here. Something that kept you tied and bound to this connection, feeling like uh, you weren't getting what you deserved, but you felt like there was this attachment here, that you were stuck in this even though you tried to release it. It's like something about this person just kept drawing you back in. But I see success uh, this week with the Six of Wands. And uh, there is a little surprise with the Four of Wands here. Okay, a little surprise from the universe. Alright, so their energy. We have Knight of Swords, the Lovers, Five of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. So I see a little bit of this person... Uh, really overanalyzing. Uh, it's kind of like they're feeling as if something has to give, uh, but they're thinking and trying to figure something out. They're very unsettled about you. They feel like uh, they've hit a wall as well, needing to make a decision here. But let me see this Eight of Wands. It almost feels like panic, uh, but it's like trying to figure out fast. What can I do? How can I make this better? Uh, Eight of Wands, Moon, Ten of Swords. Yeah, they know that things have ended or possibly they've pushed it too far. And they feel that you are, you know, going further away from them, even energetically, and they don't like it. It's making them feel very uncomfortable here. Some of the Five of Swords. Some of the Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so I see somebody that just wants to win here. Uh, win your heart back as well. It's almost like they feel very protective over this connection, but they feel you're slipping away. Uh, even if there's been separation in the physical realm, they feel like spiritually they've always been able to sense you and uh, send messages. You guys feel each other on an, a different level. This special connection and they feel like all of a sudden you're not there. Uh, they're feeling this detachment and it's starting to really get to them. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the past. We have the worlds, the star card, and the seven of wands. Even though they feel the stars have aligned uh, by bringing you into their life, they were still trying to push against this. It's almost like they had a wall. A wall so high, it was really hard to get through to this person, so they could be very stubborn. Uh, especially when it comes to anything but what they want to talk about or what they want. Tell with the Seven of Wands. There also could be physical distance here with the world and the star card. Uh, if it's a long distance relationship, it doesn't have to be. Uh, it can just be the fact that they have their wall up and there's emotional distance here. Yeah, Seven of Wands, Four of Cups. This person was already dissatisfied with their life when you came into it. Uh, almost feeling a sense of lack 
and that they've come so far to where they are now that they don't have what they truly want and they haven't been able to achieve their goals so there is a sense of apathy around them for other people and almost feeling bad for themselves okay that they don't have what they wanted that things just didn't work out especially financially for some of them uh tell me the star card so you might have picked up or uh, it might have been in your face that this person was very negative quite a bit or they looked at things in a negative light and uh, you were the shining light in their life, star world. You were bringing a positivity that really made them feel good, but they weren't talking about it. Instead, they were putting up a wall and making you feel as if they weren't listening or they just didn't care. Ten of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, look how much comfort you brought into their life. You know, you really made it so easy for them. It's almost like they suddenly realized how I wish I had it like them, where everything just comes to them, everything's easy, they make it look like it's nothing. Uh, and because you were thinking positively here, it was starting to make them very puzzled. Okay, what? why don't I have that? Why am I not like that? Uh, you really started to make them question their belief system as well because no matter how much was put on your plate, no matter uh, what was going on, you dealt with it with ease and you also helped them with the Queen of Pentacles. You were able to show them solutions to problems in their life, even offer them advice and they're like, okay, yeah, I see that from now, now from a different perspective, I get it. But how could it just be that easy, right? So they, they tend to make things more difficult in their life because they sit in this energy of lack, always looking at everything with the... <clears throat> with the glass half empty. So let's see what the challenge is. Let's get some more details here. Because I see that they feel almost as if they don't deserve love. They don't deserve to be happy because uh, that's their cross to bear in life. It's just this mentality. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. Your devotion to them is impeccable here. So they know wholeheartedly that they that you love them, but also that they can count on you for anything. But with the Queen of Cups and the challenge, it's almost like you did so much for them and you're always there, but there was nothing coming towards your direction. You never really felt emotionally secure with them. Uh, because we have the Three of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Some of you are, are in a third party here, but they were giving into two different things, whether it was their mindset and uh, their belief system versus you or it was a person place or thing um, whatever it was they were giving into the other thing fueling it more making them feel like okay i don't deserve this so it's okay if it goes away uh, maybe i need to detach here from this person uh, they really feel like you got them on a different level but they're so attached to you uh, they felt they needed to put up a wall because you went against their belief system uh, even though it was positive and great and helping them in their life, uh, it is the core of what they were thinking. So it was very crucial to them that they stay comfortable. And so they fought for that. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, missed opportunity for things to really grow into long-term stability. This could have been a situation where if they did open up and become vulnerable, it can be a committed situation that can last the test of time. It's something that can be built together because both of you have the same core values. You both cherish the same things as well. Even on a spiritual level, it's showing me. Uh, tell me the Ace of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, and constant deliberation here. With one foot in this relationship and one foot out. It can be a situation ship too. Uh, there was no choice being made because they were constantly in their head. Constantly thinking about, you know, I I can't rock the boat because this is how I see things and I don't want to change. So just being stubborn towards wanting to grow uh, or be able to see things a different way. All right, what they're about to do, we have Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Five of Pentacles. 
So something comes out of the blue here that's really going to surprise you because this is about bringing light into the situation that is going to make you overjoyed. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action this is, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.